Okay, well, we're back and we're talking about um, bonding. Okay, um, and the first thing I suppose we, we, we get, better get used to is um, when atoms um, join together, um, they bond. Um, when, when they join together, um, what's really weird is when we look at them after they've joined together and bonded, all atoms have a full electron shell in the outermost part. So it's worth writing that down, okay? All atoms we've ever found that have ever stuck together, you know, forming a compound, you know, a molecule, they have one thing in common, and it's this. The outermost, there's that word again, not sure if it's a word, sounds like a word, but I'm not sure. The outermost electron shell um, is full. Now, it's worth underlining that. Um, now, there are reasons why we, we know now what, uh, what, why that is. It, it's a bit complicated. To cut a long story short, um, it seems that atoms, when they stick together and they fill their outermost shells, uh, they're very stable, or they're more stable um, than, they, than they would be otherwise. Um, but this is something that we're going to have to remember if we want to go really deep into understanding bonding. Um, it's not too hard a thing. It basically means that something in like, um, if you say like oxygen, okay, and oxygen, okay, is in group eight, seven. Oxygen's in group six. Um, if we look at oxygen, okay, it's basically just uh, a circle. We'll have all the little nucleus bits in the middle. Um, and on the outside shell, it's got uh, six electrons. And every time we've ever seen oxygen react and join onto another atom, um, these six electrons um, suddenly become eight. So it kind of drafts in a couple of extra electrons from somewhere. You know, where are they coming from? I don't know. Um, and so our look at bonding is going to focus on how atoms, which seem to, for some reason, um, be very happy joining other atoms and making full electron shells, how they get these extra atoms, uh, extra electrons in their outermost shell. So, all atoms that stick together have full outer shells and they don't start off with full outer shells so from somewhere they're going to have to borrow, beg or steal electrons in order to bond. 